If it's love, I want everything. Touch my soul, touch my heart, don't judge my mental. They told me that. What's good, GATV family? It's your boy Gravitating Away. And me, myself, I just came through with a clown show. I'm sorry, a coon show. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Um, you know, I hate to say it, man, but for a lot of you folks that takes reparation serious, I sincerely feel you, and I'm your brother in arm in that. And I'm sorry that that movement gets hijacked by a lot of fools, grifters, and scammers, and emotionally unhinged folks who just, you know, it's about the limelight. It's about being emotionally, you know, irrational. And that's what transpired at the California Reparations Task Force meeting. Um, I'm going to show you what Tariq had to say about reparations is real quick and then i'm gonna forward to i know what you all are engaged in all you negroes are really gonna click on the videos because you saw drama was on the headlines forget if i ever give you anything that's substantive for um you know better usage in terms of your time you want the mess you want the drama so you know if you can contain yourself you little hound dogs i'm gonna play that part in the meantime i'm gonna play Tariq. Speaking on reparations, again, it's real quick. So hold, hold your horses, and you're going to get your dopamine, drama, coon, babble-ish that you're accustomed to, and that's the only reason why you clicked. But for those of you who've been rocking with me, I got to put everything in context, and this is why I'm going to play Tariq speaking at the reparations task force hearing. This is what lineage Problem is, we see a lot of trick bag language being mixed into it, where it opens the floor for other groups to come in and undermine us. Preparations in the form of lineage-based compensation is not a compensation for racism. Very clear. The man can never just make his point. Like, if it's about lineage-based, there's not much I could argue about with that, nor even want to. It makes perfect sense. But he has to throw this you know, other spin narrative to throw to throw the entire movement off. He makes it look like, you know, um, nationalism at its worst, tribalism at its worst, rather than something that can be handled, you know, with proper care and consideration. You got all these people here. Get to the core of it, Tariq. If we open the door to racism, Hispanics can come in, Asians can come in, Middle Eastern people can come in, it will become affirmative action again. Again, focus on the lineage base, you know, portion of it. But here's the problem. You haven't even spearheaded anything off the ground yet. Even if California was to go through all of this, I thought this was something on the, you know, national spectrum of things. So it seems like you guys are going to have to get reparations state by state. The progress is slowed down by a lot of foolishness. Uh, this was the best chance to put a, a package together. But you're going to see later in this video how none of these things have any uh, substantive argument, any base to go off of. It's talking points, the same FBA talking points that's being pushed, the same Secure the Tribe talking points. And uh, Secure the Tribe is about to have a lot to say shortly, by the way. slavery. <laughs> People say that this wasn't a slave state. There was informal slavery here. The only reason they did the technicality to make slavery illegal in California, they didn't want the white, wealthy slave owners at East coming here getting all the fine real estate. They had slavery out here. Our foundational Black American brothers and sisters and our ancestors were out here working enslaved. San Bernardino, California was a slave colony. There were slave colonies here around the Bay Area. We couldn't get out of slavery because they made it illegal for black people to testify against white people. That's how they. Okay, I'm going to forward some of this. 
it's quick. I just wanted you guys to see the part where they just cut them off. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your yeah. Thank you, sir. You're a nobody. You're not that. You're not that guy. You know, I know FBA, you know, props this guy up as he's just, oh, amazing orator. And, you know, he's well respected in so many places, man. They they cut that dude's mic off. Now, I'm about to get to, through, um, get to some of the gist of why we're even here. You know, a few things I wanted you guys to look at. Uh, by the way, man, ugh, very embarrassing by Secure the Tribe. Even though I got issues with Tariq, very embarrassing. This is only for Africans. Let's forward. This is Dion Jenkins of um, Secure the Tribe. It's a previous, um, a previous video that he was. Um, well, I'm sorry, a pre a previous session that the task force had. And I wanted to show you guys this by Dion Jenkins and then bring it to fruition of how everything aligns with each other. Just check them out real quick. This land, this land, not African land, not Negro land, that perfect work and genealogy. I'm not a free man, period. Black land person, let's get that proof of honor. Let's see if that. Ain't speech, not at all. This is defense and delegation, honestly. Listen to the way he presents himself, man. These are the people that some of you follow. Thank God, not, not a bulk load of the lot of us. Just some of you follow. And these Negro coons can't even represent themselves articulately. They can't even put a sentence without a cuss word or two coming out. Mind you, this is a stage where all is watching. This is the time to be taken serious and grab attention grab respect listen to how this brother presents himself secure the tribe you guys are another foolish organization that needs to go ahead and disappear man let's go ahead and finish this so, may I say, if I take a trip to the caribbean i need knowledge as a yankee when i take a trip to the continent i need knowledge as a lazy cop they've been a long time ago for the caribbean I need knowledge as a Yankee. When I take a trip to the continent, I need knowledge as a lazy cop. I had to just, you know, touch base with that. A lot of these guys just throws out these fictional scenarios that never happened. Most of them don't even leave their state. You really believe these coon ass Negroes are leaving the entire nation, the country. Stop pretending that because if you feel this way, that you're being treated like X, Y, and Z, why would you even go through uh, to these certain places that you claim call you this, call you that? That's how I know you guys all do this for show, to spearhead and push your xenophobic rhetoric. But again, it's all coming to fruition. Give it time, give it time. For all the folks that came for the drama, don't worry. Your dopamine is right around the corner. Your crack is right around the corner. You're gonna see the mess that happened earlier the other day. Calm down. I'm just playing things for context for the people that actually rock with me, subscribe to me and take the time and show love for all you other folks that click for the drama. Don't worry. That crack, that dopamine is right around the corner. It's coming. Slow down. Slow down. I know why y'all come here for. It's our time now. So, that was your record. Recommendation. I'm going to follows. In California at the signing of the bill, passing paying uh, taxes at the time, bill signed, and lineage based only. Lineage based only corporations. Right. Lineage base. He's pushing that again. That's why I say Ados, B1, Freedmen, FBA, uh, Security Tribe, all these other, all these groups, had they just put their heads together and fight the resistance that they have of. Everybody want to be the man. Everybody want to be top dog. They carried actually a message that made sense in terms of the American descendants of chattel slavery right here in this country. That is a message that I would find someone that could argue against it. I would dare you because you can't argue against that. If it's about reparations from chattel slavery of descendants here in America, then yeah, it should be lineage based. 
But here's the problem. They don't want to talk about how do you de deconstruct that lineage to understand who's what, who's from where, whatever. They, they won't. It's so many di divisions with something you would think it's so simple to discuss. Just I'm not talking about breaking down, just to discuss. They can't. You get a brother like this over here on the screen who's, who thinks this is the awakening of the Black Panthers, which none of them could hold water next to those boys, to Fred Hampton and them boys. None of them guys are Malcolm X. None of them guys are Patrice Lumumba. They're none of these things. These are characters that, you, that makes you wonder, you know, who co-signed them? I think they're all agents. I'm not somebody that pushed that word, you know, very lightly, but I think you all are agents personally. I, that's what I think. And he walks off like he's the man. He walks off like he's the man. Oh, my God. Dear brothers and sisters, man, there, there's just a lot that I think we need to talk about, man. There's a lot because a lot of these things just makes no sense when I'm watching. I'm sorry, man. It does not make any sense. Now, what I want to show you guys, because these Negroes had the audacity of pulling up like the coons they are and uh, not wanting to be civilized in any type of way. And it's not because white folks are there. See, we don't got to be civilized because white folks are there. I'm not one of these guys that talk down on my brothers and sisters because I'm like, oh, I feel embarrassed. Oh, there was all these white people around and now look how we've been acting. No, that's not it. I have an issue that we can't be civilized around one another because there are those of us that views ourselves as very professional you know, of esteem backgrounds, of doing the work, etc. We should have that respect of not being niggas. Excuse me. Excuse me. Seriously, excuse me. But we don't got to be those N-words. We don't got to be those N-words everywhere we go. But I'm going to show y'all some of the videos of what was transpired the other day at this event. So the security tribe representatives are all over here in, in this sector. I know some of you forgot, but Tariq went in on the security tribe members, and this is the reason why, you know, a lot of them still got bitter feelings, and they just went after Tariq, no matter what the setting is. You know how you Negroes do it. You know, pull up on site. You know, it's on site. Y'all don't care about the ramifications, the consequences, right? On site. Well, that's what y'all do, and it's supposed to be about reparations. Speaking of, there go Tariq's people right here. This brother here, I, th I think he's, like, related to him or not, but nonetheless... I'm going to show y'all something about that brother sitting down right there. And if you can look for me real quick, you see who is he is arm in, um, hand in hand with, right? Look at this Becky over here. Let me show y'all. These brothers that got their chest poked out, talking about reparations, all this hoopla about how, you know, black power persona they are, right? I'm going to show y'all something. There he goes right here. We ain't gonna play too much of this coon talking. If you hear the background, it's a lot that was going on. They were dismissing the brother, but I just wanted y'all to see him over here cooning hard, talking all tough and powerful. I'm not trying to give this brother a center stage, and I don't have an issue with any interracial, um, I'll say unions for lack there of a better word. I'll say unions, but I have a problem when you think you're going to speak for your entire group of people, and this is you over here. Look at this brother right here, man. This is what FBA movements, Secure the Tribe, B1s, all these groups are full of. You see it right over here. That's what y'all infiltrated with. 
You got idiots wanting to speak for you, and they they go to fiasco. There go some of y'all dopamine y'all was waiting for. See, I might troll. I might troll some of this stuff, you know, and that's why I do it for whatever content. But I'm proving a point for all the FBA clown shows that come up under my comments and say, oh, all you do is talk about Tariq. 97% of my videos has never been about this space in terms of consciousness, in terms of reparations, and dare I say, even the Tariq Nashis of the world. It's on so many other things, but none of you click on that. But once you see this foolishness going on, you want to be a part of it. And this is why I'm giving you the dopamine you want. <laughs> something to them, I'm a racist, and we will protest on you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Next, next caller. All right, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, uh, we need to get back to the public order. 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 Where's security at? Where's security at? 